Hello guys, welcome to Dental Care Nepal. Today we will be dealing with glass ionomer cement. These are our contents. First we will be dealing with introduction, then classification, then composition, then chemistry of setting, then manipulation, then properties of GAC and then finally the uses of glass ionomer cement. Now let's, let's have an introduction to the GAC. Glass ionomer cement was actually developed by Wilson and Kent. It is originally called aluminosilicate polyacrylate cements (ASPA), which is developed as a replacement for silicate cements by combining aluminosilicate glass powder with polyacrylic acid. Their unique advantage of ion exchange with tooth structure and anti-carriogenicity due to fluoride release have made glass ionomer cements very versatile materials. Now let's go to the classification of glass ionomer cement. Graham Mount in 1994 gave classification of glass ionomer cement based on composition, powder liquid ratio and clinical application of material. First type is type 1 which is luting glass ionomer cement. The uses of type 1 glass ionomer cement are cementation of ground, bridges, inlays, orthodontic appliances. It has a fine powder particle size and uses a low powder liquid ratio which is 1.5 to 1. The film thickness is less than 20 micrometer. Type 2 uh, glass ionomer cement is divided into two further parts. Type 2.1 that is restorative aesthetic glass ionomer cement and type 2.2 is restorative enforced reinforced glass ionomer cement. The uses of type 2, 1 or restorative aesthetic glass ionomer cement are it is used for class 3 restorative material class 5 restoration and tunnel restorations. It has high powder liquid ratio that is 3 is to 1 or greater. It has superior physical properties and good translucency. It is auto cured or resin modified. The uses of type 2 or restorative in reinforced glass ionomer cement are core build up, root carries, tunnel restorations and deciduous restorations. It have metallic inclusions for re improvements The powder liquid ratio is 3 to 1 or greater. The type 3 or is uh, glass ionomer cement is lining or base. Its uses are in low powder liquid ratio it acts as lining material. In high powder liquid ratio it acts as base beneath amalgam or composite restoration. The powder liquid ratio is 1.5 is to 1 for lining restorative material and 3 is to 1 or greater for base. It is auto cured and resin modified. The general use based classification of glass ionomer cements is as follows. First is type 1 for luting cements. Type 2 for restorations, type 3 for liner and bases, type 4 for fissure sealants, type 5 orthodontic cements, type 6 core build up, type 7 fluoride leasing, type 8 ART or a traumatic restorative technique, type 9 is used for deciduous teeth. The general the composition of glass ionomer cement or conventional glass ionomer cement is made up of powder and liquid. The powder form includes acid soluble calcium fluoroaluminosilicate glass that is silica 41.9%, alumina 28.6%, aluminium fluoride 1.6%, Calcium fluoride 15.7%, sodium fluoride 9.3%, aluminium phosphate 3.8%. The other materials 
are uh, lanthanum, strontium, barium, or zinc oxide addition, which provide radio opacity. Now, liquid form includes polyacrylic acid in the form of copolymer with ethiconic acid, malic acid, and tricarboxylic acid. It also contains tartaric acid, which improves handling characteristics, which increase working time and shortens setting time. And it also includes water, which acts as a medium of reaction and hydrates the reaction products. Now let's go to the chemistry of setting. The powder and liquid are mixed to form a paste. The acid etches the surface of glass particles. Calcium, aluminium, sodium and fluorine uh, ions leach into aqueous medium. Polyacrylic acid chains are cross-linked by the calcium ions which are replaced by aluminium ions within next 24 hours. The sodium and fluoride ions do not participate in the cross-linking of the cement. Some of the sodium ions may replace hydrogen ions of carboxylic groups whereas remaining ions are dispersed uniformly within the set cement along with fluoride ions. The cross-linked phase becomes hydrated over time with the same water used for mixing maturation. Unreacted portion of glass particles are seated by a silica gel that develops during removal of cations from the surface of particles. Set cement agglomeration of unreacted powder particles surrounded by a silica gel in amorphous matrix of hydrated calcium and aluminium polysols. The water plays a critical role in the setting of GIC which serves as the reaction medium initially then slowly adds the cross-linked matrix thereby yielding a stable gel structures that is stronger and less susceptible to moisture. The setting time for type 1 glass ionomer cement is 4 to 5 minutes and for type 2 GIC is 7 minutes. Now let's talk about the manipulation of GIC. First, preparation of tooth surface. The enamel and dentin are first cleaned with pumice slurry followed by swabbing with polyacrylic acid for 10 to 20 seconds which is called, called condensing. After condensing and rinsing, tooth surface should isolate and dry. The second point is proportioning and mixing. The powder and liquid are uh, uh, in a ratio 3 is to 1 by weight. Powder and liquid is dispensed just prior to mixing. First increment is incorporated rapidly to produce a homogeneous milky consistency. Mixing is done using sweeping and folding method to preserve gel structure. Finished, it is finally finished. Mix with should have a glossy surface. Here you can see first we take adequate uh, amount of powder GAC and then the liquid GAC in the required ratio. Then we uh, divide the powder. Uh, uh, parts into two for uh, two different parts equal parts then liquid is dispensed into the uh, uh, mixing pad then it is mixed in sweeping and folding motion is protection of cement during setting how can we do that glass animal cement is extremely sensitive to air and water during setting Immediately after the placement into the cavity, it is pre-shaped matrix is applied to it.
Now let's talk about the finishing of the glass ion immersed cement restoration. Excessive material should be trimmed from margins. And instruments are preferred to rotary instruments to avoid ditching. Further finishing is done after 24 hours. The final step is protection of cement after setting. Before dismissing the patient, restoration is again coated with the protective agent to protect trimmed area. Failure to protect for first 24 hours result in weakened cement. Now let's talk about the properties of glass ionomer cement. It is, uh, it has a property of addition to enamel and dentin. It has good biocompatibility. It has fluoride releasing uh, property. And then we will have the color which is nearly same as the natural tooth and translucency. The radio opacity is the another property. Strength and fracture resistance to some extent, solubility and disintegration. First is first property is addition to enamel and dentin. Due to the reaction between carboxyl groups of the polyacid and the calcium in the enamel and dentin, it has good addition property to the enamel and dentin. Bond to enamel is always higher than that of dentin. Why it is so? Please comment in the uh, uh, comment box below. The biocompatibility is another property of GIC. It has mild pulp response. It has greater biocompatibility than zinc oxide original cement but less than zinc phosphate cement type 1 is more acidic than type 2 why please uh, comment answer of this question in the comment box below also we will have a discussion on it the third important property of glass ionomer cement is fluoride release it has ability to get recharge your release or uptake does not affect the properties of the cement. Why? This you also have to find out the answer and comment in the comment box below. Next a property is color and translucency. It is available in various shades. Resin modified are less sensitive to moisture contamination. The ratio obesity is another important property of glass ionomer cement. Let's talk about the strength and fracture resistance of glass ionomer cement. It has weak and lack fracture resistance when compared to composite resin and amalgams. The resin modified glass ionomer cements are twice as strong as conventional GICs almost comparable to that of microfilled composite resin. The solubility and disintegration of GIC. Initially, it has solubility which is high due to leaching of intermediate products. Initial setting by polymerization reduces the disruption of the ionomeric component in resin modified GIC. Here you can see the different compressive strength, diameter tensile strength, flexure strength. Now let's talk about the advantage and disadvantage of glass ionomer cement. The main advantage of glass ionomer cement are it is inherent, it has inherent addition property to the tooth surface. It has good marginal seal. It has anti cariogenic property. It has good biocompatibility. It, ha it has minimal it required minimal cavity preparation. The disadvantage of GIC are it has low fracture resistance, low wear resistance, water sensitive during setting phase and less aesthetic compared to composite. Now let's talk about the uses of glass ionomer cement. The first use is it can be used as a pit and fissure sealant. Then it is also used for tunnel restorations. It is also used for class 3 
restorations can also be used for class uh, 4 restorations it can also be used as ART technique a traumatic restorative technique it can also be used as liners and bases it can also be used as long term temporary restorations also used for code buildup it can also be used as looting with glass animal cements thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel dent care nepal